guys welcome back so today I'm doing something I haven't done for a few months at least at least a couple of months <laughs> I don't know I haven't been keeping track but I actually have kind of been steering away from the hauls because I have been trying to be a little bit more mindful of the things that I purchase as far as asking myself a few questions before I buy something like is it something you really, really want or is it just something you're getting because there's a lot of hype around it? Is it something that you're going to do a video on, you know, to kind of show it to your viewers? Or, you know, is it something that you're just going to buy and put on the shelf? And then also, is it something that you need? So those are kind of like the three questions that I asked myself before purchasing makeup and beauty products now. <laughs> I don't always give myself the right answer, but it is helping me to kind of pump my brakes on some of the beauty products that come out, makeup that comes out that I don't really need to buy. So, but I said, you know what? I have accumulated some items over the last few months and I want to just go ahead and share them with you. Now, I have purchased a lot of palettes. I'm not even going to lie. I've purchased a lot of palettes, but I've also used a lot of those palettes. So with me having used a lot of the palettes that I've purchased already, I'm not going to show those because you guys already know that I have them. So I'm just going to kind of run through some of the palettes that I purchased that I still haven't used yet and some other beauty related items that I have. So anyways, enough of the ya ya ya. I'm going to start off with the palettes and I think I'm just going to tell you what they are, show them to you just in case you're curious about the colors or how they look. I'm not going to be swatching and all that stuff because this video is going to be long already. Just forewarning you. <laughs> so let's just go ahead and get started with this first palette here, which is the Daisy Marquez BH Cosmetics palette. Now I did pick this up quite a while ago. Um, not right when it first came out, but not too long after it came out. And, you know, I was like, nah, I ain't buying it, I ain't buying it, I ain't buying it. But it's like, it's so cute. It just looks like a little Tiffany's box and everything. And honestly, my girl, Lily, she took forever to do her review, okay? So I ended up buying it before she did her review. And she didn't care for it too much. <laughs> so, you know, whatever. I'm still going to try it out and see how I like it. But... The palette, the way that it comes, it has this, the top is a mirror. So you just place the mirror in this little slot and it turns into like a cute little vanity type situation. So I think that's really cute. But these are the colors. I'm going to take this plastic off. But these are the colors for this palette. Just so you can get a close look. And to me, I think it's a very, very beautiful color scheme. Now, like I said, I don't know how it performs, of course, because I haven't used it yet. But, <laughs> like I said, my girl Lily didn't really care for it, so my hopes aren't that high for it. But you never know. One person hates a palette and another person loves it, so we'll see. So anyways, that is the BH Cosmetics Daisy Marquez palette. I also purchased these three beauty crop palettes. I got these palettes quite a while ago as well. They were on sale. I think all three of them were like about 50 bucks, which is really cool. So I did pick up all three of these and let me just show you what they look like. Now this first one in the pink packaging is the sun gazing palette. And this is what this palette looks like trying to you know show it to where it doesn't have the glare from the plastic but this is the sun gazing palette it's gorgeous isn't it very very pretty excellent reviews from my girl Lily. <laughs> so look if you guys ever want a review on a palette nine times out of ten my girl Lily has reviewed it and she will give you the whole rundown on it okay so this next one here is the stargazing palette it comes in the silver packaging I done already dug my fingers up into the shadow and the glitter <laughs> so it hasn't been used it just looks like it has but this is what this palette looks like like I said this is the stargazing palette gorgeous okay and so for the last one it is this beautiful one here 
and this one is the dawn gazing palette and this is what she looks like so she's the pink toned palette very very pretty none of these palettes have mirrors in them but they're very very gorgeous and i think if you purchase them separately they're like 24 bucks so of course the best deal is to buy all three for like 49 okay next so you guys know that i did already test out this revolution constellation palette so you guys know that i did already test this out i actually compared it to the abh riviera palette if you haven't seen that video i will link it above but this is what this palette looks like so i know i said i wasn't going to show any that i've used but i did buy another palette from the collection there are four palettes in the collection from revolution and so this one caught my attention as well i'm not gonna buy all four i don't plan on it i mean who knows right <laughs> but this one caught my attention this one is the optimum palette and so it looks like this it kind of looks like gray stone on the cover and the reason why i went ahead and picked this palette up is because it's different than most palettes that i gravitate to this palette is actually cool tone um a lot of neutral shades in here it has kind of like the navy blue the darker more muted colors but it's definitely more of a cool tone type palette something that I wouldn't typically use so that's why I went ahead and purchased it because I do want to do a look with this palette for you guys now it really pissed me off that this palette was eight dollars on the Ulta website because when I bought this palette off of the Revolution website it was fifteen dollars so Currently, this palette is like almost half price what I paid for this one off the Revolution site. So, I'm not happy about that. That's the only reason why I might purchase the other two. <laughs> it's because they're only $8. But I digress. I doubt it. Like I said, I'm trying to do a lot better with my choices of what I buy. Okay. Next, I have here this palette. Um... I don't know I'm assuming the brand is changeable but this is the fantasy palette and the reason why I bought this palette is actually to do a comparison because this palette I bought this off of Amazon it's really cute isn't it changeable fantasy I bought this palette off of Amazon to do a comparison with the James Charles palette because this is supposed to be a dupe for that palette look familiar <laughs> definitely supposed to be a dupe for that palette and I actually saw Tammy Clark I believe do a comparison as well as uh, makeup Misa is it Misa makeup do a comparison and this palette I don't want to spoil it but uh dupe alert <laughs> so I don't know if the James Charles palette is back available or if it's still not available. I'm not sure, but I wanted to do the comparison of this for those people who maybe wanted the James Charles or still want it but don't want to pay the price and would like a comparable dupe. And so this, since this is supposed to be an exact dupe, I want to test this out. Now, I believe I got this palette off of Amazon for, I don't know, maybe 10 bucks. 10 15 bucks it was really really cheap you guys i don't remember the exact price but yeah this is what she looks like exact dupe of the james charles so i do plan on testing this out let me know in the comments if you're interested in seeing that comparison because i'm very curious to do the comparison video next i have this palette called on the edge and this is from lurella another indie brand that i saw on instagram um scrolling up my timeline you guys know i'm really into those brands and trying to check out their palettes this year so this is called on the edge and let me go ahead and show you it has a sleeve you can see very cute the sleeve looks just like the palette okay and so this palette while it is very very large it does not have a mirror in here as you can see it just has the name on the edge does have the plastic covering but these are the colors that are in this palette 
Of course, you guys know it ain't no mystery as to why I <laughs> gravitated towards this beauty. But this is what she looks like. So very, very pretty, even though it has, you know, the basic rainbow shades to play around with. There are a lot of nice warm as well as cool tone shades in here to play with. So I really, really like the color scheme of this palette. And so, of course, I'm going to play around with this for you guys. Check it out. Do a look. Do a video. <laughs> but i think it's cute it has a little color splattered on here on the cover very cute okay so these next two palettes i bought at the exact same time this one is the in rio love by trend beauty and this one is the remember me palette from a more a more us so i bought both of these palettes off the same website i'll have to put it in the video somewhere i can't think of the name of the website I also saw these <laughs> on my Instagram timeline and the reason why I gravitated to this palette was because I was looking for a dupe for the Jeffree Star. When you see it, you'll know what palette I'm talking about. I can't think of the name right now. So as you can see, it's definitely a dupe for Jeffree Star's palette. Very pretty. Now this palette is considerably smaller than his palette. I mean, it's like the baby sister of his palette but all the shades are the same colors are the same and like i said earlier my girl lily did a comparison of the two palettes i don't have the jeffree star palette she does but she the thirsty that's what it is the thirsty palette she has the palette she compared them and so if you want to see how that went go ahead and check that out on now her this channel other palette, remember me very cute it comes in a sleeve as well and this one is cruelty free this is what she looks like just kind of makes me feel like a party actually but i guess these are leaves looks like leaves maybe i don't know but it's a rainbow palette <laughs> you guys i think i'm almost actually sick of buying rainbow palettes what do you guys think i don't know what do you think anyway so there's a mirror in here of course and this is what she looks definite like definite epitome of a rainbow palette <laughs> every color in the rainbow what i do not like about this palette just right off the bat is there's no black and there's no white so those i think if you're doing a rainbow palette should definitely be in there a white a black and a brown just to give us more options with looks that we can do because a lot of people get afraid of just all color but if you kind of have, you know, a transition or somewhere to start or something to smoke out, you don't get as afraid of a rainbow palette. But this is a true rainbow palette. So I haven't used it yet. As you can see, I do plan on definitely trying this out for you guys. So look out for this as well. Next, I have the Space Jewel palette. And this is from Pretty Weird Cosmetics. I've seen them pretty hot and heavy on my Instagram feed as well. And they have some pretty unique um, makeup items on their website. So when I saw this palette though, it just, the color scheme really got me, really grabbed my attention. I actually just got this in the mail the other day. It might have been yesterday, actually. But it comes in just this plain, basic black packaging. Um, kind of like the old Morphe palettes, but this one in just taking it out of the box I smell that China smell you ever buy eyeshadows straight from China like not through these other larger brands where it came from China But it went through their handling first the ones that come directly from China the smell is really strong so that is what I smell. I smell that China smell. <laughs> it's just some kind of like plasticky chemical smell. So anyway, this is what she looks like. Look at her. Look at that. I know y'all like, ooh, I know you are. I know you are because she bomb. <laughs> she bomb. Look at these colors, you guys. You cannot tell me that this palette is not gorgeous. Okay. You, you tell me, honey. That this palette is not gorgeous so I can't attest for the quality yet of course but y'all I cannot wait to play around in this and this 
it has a lot of colors that actually kind of make me feel like fall you know like these purples and burgundies and you know it's not like the super bright bright summer and spring colors but there are definitely some pops of beautiful bright colors in here for spring and summer so ooh, child and these pressed glitters y'all know i like glitter now <laughs> so anyway yeah this palette mm, is that gonna be next you guys is this palette gonna be next on my agenda because i'm kind of feeling it i'm kind of feeling it so that might be next y'all let me know okay Okay, so as you guys know, ColourPop has been coming out with stuff every day for like the past month. <laughs> it's like ever since spring hit, ColourPop has been coming out with something every freaking day. It's ridiculous. But I went ahead and picked up the headliner palette. Now, this is one of their spring type palettes or festival type palettes because it has the super duper bright colors in here. Um, kind of like fluorescent type or... Is it fluorescent? I don't know. But anyway, it's the really bright this colors. This is what this palette looks like. And I went ahead and picked it up. I really got excited about that lime green when I saw it online. But now in person, I don't know if it's going to be deep enough for my liking. But I think that the glitters look absolutely amazing. Just all of these colors are beautiful. I have no idea what kind of look I'm going to come up with with this palette, you guys no clue but i am kind of anxious to get my hands on it so i got this from ColourPop. they came out with some eyeliners too but i think i'm gonna pass on those because i have enough colored eyeliners but this is really cute i think it was a little pricey i mean there's what 12 shadows in here it was 40 bucks eh, i don't know but i think it's pretty so i can't wait to try it out now I also picked up some of their blushes. Two of them are not new because they're from the Bretman Rock collection. This one is from the Sweet Talk collection. So I got these three blushes and I wanted to pick ones of course that were really rich in color and these things are extremely pigmented okay I have already swatched them but I wanted to pick some really pretty spring colors so these are the blushes that I got now these are their super shock blushes so when you swatch them they swatch kind of like a cream they feel like a cream but you can blend them out and they're matte they're not shimmer or anything like that but it's not like powder it's like a cream it's really kind of strange <laughs> but they're very very pretty very pigmented and you guys will be seeing me use those in future okay, videos and lastly for my large palettes i believe i did go ahead and pick up the jeffree star blue blood so i did grab this i'm sure you've seen it a bazillion times but this is what she looks like she looks like a coffin of course you guys are familiar with how she looks and let me open her up and i must say this palette is a beauty i mean of course if you're not into blues or you're not into Jeffree Star, you're not going to be into this. But y'all know I love me some blue. And his eyeshadows, at least from what I've tried, the blood sugar, very, very nice eyeshadows. So this is what this palette looks like. I have swatched her. So I already know she swatches amazing. <laughs> amazing. So this is what she looks like. She's absolutely gorgeous. So that's it for my large palette purchases I do have a couple of smaller items that I did pick up now this here this revolution vintage lace highlighter palette you guys look at this it has like the imprint of lace on it you know it looks like some lace hosiery if that's how you say it ho hosiery <laughs> but look at that gorgeous and you can look at those highlights and tell that they kind of have like a dual chrome shift type of situation going on i mean very very pretty so this was definitely an impulse buy i did pick this up when i purchased that other palette from um makeup revolution but yeah i just had to have this i don't even know if i'm going to use it because it's so gorgeous and i don't want to mess it up but bomb and the last little baby type palette <laughs> uh, 
product I purchased was from Morphe and this is a Morphe Brontour and this is not new by any means but it's kind of like a highlight or a bronzing and contour duo actually. I'm still trying to figure it out but it's like really pretty. I saw Andrea Renee using this or she took it out and she was showing it and comparing it to other bronzers maybe when she was doing her Fenty bronzer comparison but when I saw her with this I was like I want it. <laughs> it's just the color is just so pretty. It just looks so warm and inviting and I feel like it will work nicely for me. It really reminded me of the other Morphe bronzer that I just bought out of their new collection, the Glamour Bronze. So Lord knows I didn't need it, but I thought it was really pretty. So I can't wait to try this out. I already dug my finger in there. I'm so irritated, but I thought it was really pretty. So I went ahead and picked it up. And the one that I got is in the shade Showmance. So it's their Brontour in the shade Showmance. Oh, and I almost forgot when I purchased my Blue Blood palette, I did go ahead and pick up his latest lipsticks. So I do have his lipsticks here from the Blue Blood collection. And this is what they look like if you haven't seen them already. So it's a beautiful array of blues and gray toned lipsticks. But his lipsticks, from what I understand, can be used as eyeliners as well. So I'm probably going to play around with using them as eyeliners because I really have gotten into trying different colored eyeliners with certain looks. So that is also something that I picked up this past month. Now, one item that I did pick up from Amazon, I don't know, you guys, I go through these different, like, <laughs> I don't know what it is. What is it when I just kind of feel like I'm really into something at the moment? Sometimes it's brushes, sometimes it's lipsticks, sometimes it's blushes, highlighters. Um, I just got into a point where I was just like, oh my gosh, colored eyeliners, colored eyeliners. That's why when I received the color eyeliner in my monthly subscription, I got irritated because I was like, I got enough colored eyeliners. But I purchased this giant 30 chunky pencil um, colored eyeliner set from Amazon. I think it might have been about 30 bucks or something like that. I can't remember. My apologies. But um, I'll try and remember to link it down below in case you're interested. But... I purchased this because I was just like, like I don't have enough colored eyeliners. But there were a couple of colors that I was looking for. So I went ahead and got this so that I wouldn't ever have to look for <laughs> a certain colored eyeliner again in life. But this is what it looks like. Now, if you don't have a lot of storage space, this might be something that you're not really keen to get. But it comes like this. And this is what they look like. These are all the different color eyeliners. And these are actually good for the eyes as well as the lips. Now, I haven't played around in this yet. I have used Shani products before, so they're kind of hit or miss. And sometimes when I order things from Amazon, I know that. So I'm going in knowing that. But this is what she looks like. These are the colors that are in here. And I'm just like so excited to have this because I feel like I don't ever have to <laughs> wonder if I have a certain color eyeliner ever again. So let me just go ahead and swatch a couple of these for you guys just in case you're curious about, you know, if they have any pigment or not. So I'll just pick like a red, a green, maybe a blue. So let me just go ahead and swatch a couple of these. Oh, that's pretty. Green. This is like a red shade. Okay, that's pretty. Okay, and this is a blue shade. And it's kind of like they have a little bit of a shine or shimmer to them. Mm, not really. Maybe I'm just really moisturized on my hand. <laughs> But yeah, so they are nicely pigmented. I'm not disappointed thus far because how they look on my hand, that's how they're going to look on my eye. And this is the black. 
Yes. Okay. All right. Holla. <laughs> so, yeah, I thought this was really, really cool. I'm very, very happy that I bought it. Wasn't too expensive, okay, for all of these 30 pencils. I think it was like about 30 bucks or 35 bucks. So, you can't beat that because these are some really fat pencils, okay? Now, let me see. Do these twist up? No, they don't twist up, so you have to sharpen them, but I am mad at it. I have a fat sharpener. Okay, you guys, so I almost forgot, but these actually made me remember that I did purchase a couple more palettes from Profusion. Profusion has these, like, colored eyeliner duos. Like I said, I was in this whole eyeliner frenzy, and I purchased this pack. I don't have the original packaging because I've actually been using these, but I purchased this pack of these blue eyeliners, and oh my gosh, you guys, they are so freaking pretty. It's not the color that I have on my eyes right now, but <laughs> look at that gorgeous it's like the same color as my dress so freaking pretty but yeah profusion actually came out with these eyeliners and it's a duo pack so you get a pencil eyeliner like this and then you also get the liquid like felt tip pen type which looks like that so it's kind of like the matching um liquid form but it's a little bit darker because it's liquid but <laughs> I love these things you guys and they're really really pigmented and the liquid one is like a lot of juice comes out it's not dry or skipping or anything like that so that reminded me that I did purchase a couple more <laughs> profusion palettes I did pick up this metallics palette so this is the metallics profusion palette gorgeous I love it it has a brush in here I've already swatched this and <laughs> the swatches baby let me tell you <laughs> profusion did not come to play with this palette you guys when I swatched it I was actually shook these shimmers are gorgeous they're so freaking pretty gorgeous but I did pick that up and I also got their festival palette. <laughs> I have so many profusion palettes, you guys. The colorful ones especially. But I have so many of these palettes that it's ridiculous. But I can't help it. I love profusion. So this palette that looks like they've upgraded a little bit. Okay. They have names on this little plastic sheet. Of course, I don't care about. But these palettes although they do have more shadows don't come with a brush like some of their other palettes okay so let me pull this plastic back so you can see the names are on here but this is what she is looking like if i can get her in the camera you guys see those colors and it's beautiful it's like a row of each color and of course as you know i haven't played with this one yet either my girl dj did do a video using this palette and I think she did about 20 looks with this <laughs> with this palette I'm exaggerating but she did a lot of looks in one video using this palette so you will have to check that out I will link it above because my girl went in she wanted to make sure that you guys knew how this palette worked so anyways it's very very pretty it's gorgeous and who knows when I'll get to this one <laughs> Okay, so enough of the fun stuff. I have picked up some miscellaneous items, of course. You know how you have those items that you know you love and you need to have them on deck at all times. No questions asked. I picked me up some more LA Girl Slim Shady Eyebrow Pencils. I always get these in the color Blackest Brown. They come in a three pack from Amazon for about 12 bucks. So I really like that. I just put my order in my cart and just send them along. I go through these pretty quickly though. I don't like that. But you know, I love these pencils. They're the easiest, the fastest, and I love the way that they do my eyebrows. So yeah, the LA Girl Slim Shady or Shady Slim Slim Shady <laughs> eyebrow pencils. I get those. I also stocked up on some of my Wet n Wild Black Liquid Eyeliner. I did pick up about four or five of these. They were on sale. So I went ahead and snagged a bunch of these because I like to have these on deck. I go through those a lot as well. 
Now, also from the drugstore, I picked up these two items. I picked up a new foundation and also a new concealer. They're not new at all. They've been around for a while, I think. Well, I don't know about the concealer. But this Burt's Bees foundation, the Burt's Bees foundation is Goodness Glows. And so I know this has been around for quite a long time. It's not new at all, but I've never tried it. And so I stood in the store for I don't know how long holding bottles up to my face. And this one, I'm pretty sure I can make it work. It might be a little bit too deep, but I'm pretty sure I can make this work either, you know, with the concealer or the bronzer, whatever I need. But I really wanted to try this out because I've never tried really any Burt's Bees products except maybe their lip products. This one is in the color 1062 Cocoa. So, you know, I'm always saying I'm Cocoalicious. So <laughs> I want to try this out. This is probably going to be in one of my um, Coffee and Color with KK videos because I want to try this out with you guys. And I also picked up the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. I think this is new. I was talking to my girl Lily about it. And she likes the concealer but not the foundation. So I picked up the shade Honey, 415 Honey. So hopefully this will um, kind of mesh well with this Burt Bees foundation because I'm going to use both of these together. Sorry, I'm looking at my monitor so I can see what I'm doing. Also from the drugstore, I picked up some more Sonia Kashuk sponges. Y'all know I love these things. Love them, love them, love them. You get a two-pack for $10 <laughs> from Target. So I went ahead and grabbed me. Actually, I grabbed two of these. So I got four of these Sonia Kashuk sponges. Just so I can have them on deck, y'all know. Oh, also from Amazon, I picked up a color switch, okay? Now I know good and well I didn't need this thing. I bought this thing weeks ago and haven't used it yet because unlike a lot of, you know, makeup lovers and beauty enthusiasts, I'm one of the ones who washes my brushes every time I use them. I'm sorry. I just cannot. I don't like dirty brushes. And the sad thing is I have about a bazillion brushes, so I definitely don't need to wash brushes every time I do my face, but... I just, I hate dirty brushes. So anyway, I bought this color switch, probably because I just wanted to be a part of the cool click. <laughs> you know, everybody got a color switch, okay? You can't be a, a beauty YouTuber without a color switch. Mine will probably forever stay clean because I don't even use this thing. I don't. I just use a different brush and keep it pushing. So I did pick up one of those. I got it from Amazon. I got a two pack. Ooh, really, really cheap. It might've been like a two pack for like six bucks. Really, really cheap. So if you are looking for a color switch, you can get them on Amazon. Now Elf, y'all know I'll be ordering stuff from Elf. I picked up a few more skincare products. Now when it comes to skincare for my staples, my daily staples of like cleansers and stuff like that, moisturizers elf is just my go-to they just are i i love their skincare products they're very inexpensive and they work well so right here i got elf hydrating gel melt cleanser with purified water argan oil and rose extract this is a repurchase for me i bought this before so this is my second go round <laughs> And I liked it so much. I think I might have used like too much of it because I went through it pretty quickly. But Elf, they're in their packaging, you guys. Their packaging. Look at this. They have the frosted glass and everything. Very pretty. But I really, really like this stuff. It's a makeup remover. So you just kind of use it kind of like that uh, take off the day, the Clinique. Clinique take off the day stuff but I really really like this it's very nice so yeah you just use some of this on your face you add water to it and it turns into a cleanser to just kind of gently remove your makeup at the end of the night now I also picked up some of this elf hello hydration face cream and this has hyaluronic acid in it so it really caught my attention because I love my regular e.l.f. everyday face cream and so I really wanted to try this out since it has the hello or it has the hyaluronic acid in this one and the peptide complex. So this is what the packaging looks like for this one. Like I said, very cute. I love e.l.f.'s packaging you guys. Doesn't smell like anything. 
and ooh, this is nice and thick nice thick cream i know you probably can't see that but it's a very very nice thick cream in there you see that oh my gosh i cannot wait to slap that all over my face <laughs> goodness you guys it is nothing like a nice thick hydrating just face cream moisturizer whatever I love it and lastly from elf I picked up the elf daily face cleanser with purified water now I've been using this for years now actually I love this stuff just for an everyday face wash if you're not trying to do anything special like you know dealing with a breakout or whatever this is perfect for just everyday cleansing your face it's very gentle it has purified water I love this stuff it feels good it smells good and it lasts a good little good little while you don't need a whole whole lot of it sometimes I'll take um, a little squirt of this and add some of my makeup remover oil in with the soap and just kind of you know use that all over my face to remove my makeup all in one shot okay if I'm feeling lazy and it works perfectly so I love this stuff but I picked those up from elf that's it for elf I also picked up some of this morphe continuous setting spray I got this um, when I bought my items from Ulta forgot about that but I did re up on some of this spray Y'all, I don't even know if this stuff really works all that well, but I know I love it because it feels good, <laughs> okay? After you put your makeup on and you spray this all over your face, it just feels good. It's like a little baby sauna or something, just refreshing. It's nice and cool. It just feels good and it smells good. So I don't know if it's a bunch of hype. It might not even work, but honey, I love spraying this stuff on my face. And lastly, I just want to share with you guys some brushes. I have, just like with the eyeliner thing, you know, I get into a frenzy where I'm just like, you know what, I want to test out some different brands and stuff. And so when it comes to brushes, I'm a brush freak. Lord knows I don't need another brush to save my life. <laughs> addicted and I know I have to buy brushes I decided I wanted to try out some Aliexpress brushes because everybody knows Aliexpress is extremely cheap it's coming directly from China so you know it, it ain't gonna cost you a lot of money so what I decided one night I was laying in bed scrolling through Aliexpress on my phone and I said you know what I'm just gonna order a brush here a brush there just to see if I could come across a gem, a brush that I love. If I come across something that's a bomb brush, then I'll go ahead and order me about four or five of them, call it a day, right? And so I decided to test out some big brushes, some small brushes, but I definitely <laughs> just kind of went in. Now, let me start out with my favorite brush of the bunch. I actually have purchased or went back to reorder some more of these brushes. It is this giant, fluffy, hand-sized, round brush. I love this brush, you guys. It is super soft. I mean, look at that. Super duper soft. It's big, fluffy. It's perfect for just pouncing powder all over my face. I love this brush. I like the way it looks. It has the shiny black handle with the gold you know just whatever you want to call that the gold detailing but the brush as you can see it's not all neat and perfect like brushes that you pay fifty dollars for but you know what I don't need all that perfect precision when I'm just pouncing powder all over my face so I love this brush okay this brush cost me like three dollars three dollars and something cents okay <laughs> now Prior to this being my favorite brush, this was one of my favorite powder brushes, and it still is. I love this brush as well. This brush I got from Amazon for $12, okay? I was not happy about paying $12 for this powder brush, but I wanted to try it out, and I love it. This brush is bomb. I don't know if you can see that, but see how nice and neat the bristles are on this brush it's very very nice and neat and even compared to this brush this one is used too you guys so just ignore that but compared to this brush of course this brush is a bit neater which it better be for twelve dollars 
this brush is not as neat but do I care no so anyway $12 from Amazon $3 from Aliexpress and even though it's shaped a little crazy I love it because it is mad soft okay I love this thing so anyway I ordered me about three more <laughs> of these because I like to have backups I know ridiculous so anyway I also started to notice that Aliexpress was coming out with these brushes that have this kind of like oval type handle at the end something new I guess that they're doing with their brushes is kind of having that you know that cute little oval type handle but I purchased these little powder brushes from Aliexpress just different ones you know one of each to see if I like any of them and actually I like them all they're really nice and soft very very pretty you know they look kind of different kind of unique not like you know regular brushes you get in a brush set this one is really really pretty has a nice like rose gold type handle and trust me I know these brushes are not like <laughs> any type of fancy hair or anything like that I'm sure this is like the cheapest most synthetic hair you can have for brushes but for like one dollar two dollars however much they cost because they're very inexpensive I like them I like them a lot I tried out this one because I have a brush that is truly my favorite for putting powder under my eyes I don't like to use a beauty blender to put powder under my eyes um, I like to use a brush so I need something that's going to be fit right here in this corner under my eyes so if you can see this brush is like the perfect size and shape for me to do that so I wanted to try this out I love it so I did order a few more of these <laughs> because since I do wash my brushes quite frequently they do have a tendency to break down sooner than they should I believe and because I don't believe in spending a lot of money on brushes you know I'll buy the cheaper ones anyway so that's it you guys thank you so much for hanging out with me to check out this haul video and seeing the latest stuff that I've been purchasing for my makeup and beauty and skincare arsenal <laughs> Don't forget to check out my girl's videos that I mentioned earlier in this haul and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!